So here we have a new toy to play with. It is the Bosch food processor. I can't remember the model number. Instructions. More instructions. Cutting bits. Oh. More bits. This is going to be one of those boxes you can never ever get back together again after you open it. That's the uh, mixer blitzer. Whatever that is. Oh, that's for doing your oranges with. Oh, that'll be the juice of the other white bit there. Top of the bowl. And this is the business end. That's the chunky base unit. Uh, so that controls your speed and does your pulsing bit. So let's put this thing together and see what we get. So what I'm making is a parsnip soup and we're going to chop this up in the new uh, food processor to, just to see what happens and see if it's any better than using a knife, which we can definitely use, but new toys are fun. So we're just going to drop these in here and see if it works. Yeah, that seems to be a little bit quicker than using a knife, if we're honest. So, that took a second. That would take me a little bit longer than that, normally. Okay. Chop that pretty finely. And of course we have washed the hands. Doesn't stop your eyes from running anymore. Okay, so Change this from the dicer to the slicer. It's got two slicers. It's got thick on one side and you can turn it over for thinner on the other. We're using the thicker side for this one. And we're going to slice up some leeks and some parsnips. And there's a safety uh, feature on this so that you can't turn it on uh, whilst it's spinning around, which is nice because we wouldn't want to chop our hands up. So let us get this going with a bit of olive oil. And we're just going to sweat off the leeks and the onions. Once that's gotten some heat in it.
Okay, so we'll start those guns. Start those going. And we shall slice some parsnips. What I've got it here to add to the uh, soup is one of my homegrown chilies, that's a naga. I'm only going to need one of these because they are pretty hot. And we shall leave the seeds in this one. Well, it's not the seeds that make it hot, it is, of course, the uh, membrane in it that has all of the capsaicin in it. the sharp side of the knife when we push that off here's the, the blunt side so that's nicely cooked down there a bit now so we'll add in the parsnips in there nicely and that's all we've got to do now is add in the stock which I made yesterday from a chicken carcass and some leeks and no not leeks uh, some celery and some onions and a few black peppercorns and um, we pour this in this is all seasoned up as well with herbs so That is essentially our soup. And now all we need to do now is let this simmer for 30 minutes. Should be plenty, 30, 40 minutes. Don't want to get it too, uh, lose too much of the flavors, make it too sloppy in the old parsnips. And then we'll whiz it up in the uh, blender part of this uh, new food processor. Okay, so it's later on. This is the soup ready to put into the blender. And so we're just going to spoon this in. Normally I'd use my uh, Bamex for this. But as we've got a new toy, we want to see how it works. So we'll just spoon this liquid mixture into here. This can hold up to 1.5 litres. With using the hand blender, it's actually probably a little bit easier because you can just do it all in the bowl. I'll spoon this in. We'll probably have to do it in a couple of different steps actually. We might just end up putting this back in and doing it in the hand blender, but we'll give the uh, blitzer a go just to see how it works. And like the bowl, it's got a 
a casp on the lid just there so that it won't turn on without that locking into place Zipping it up now. What this is actually lacking is anything to properly pour it out again. Uh, we need another container to put this into. So let's pour it in. Quite thick at the moment. Yeah, I think what we'll do is actually just put the hand blender in because that doesn't seem to be doing as good a job. And it's it's chunky, which isn't too bad, but I like it a little bit uh, a little bit more thinner than that. So I think we're just going to whiz that up with the Bamex. But there you have it, I mean that's the uh, Bosch food processor, got all the toys with it, uh, it seems to work. One thing I did notice actually which might come in a little bit handy is it's got a little liquid uh, marker on this if you're adding water into that while you're mixing up. But it seems to do the job, uh, I'm kind of happy with it, it's quite expensive, 130 quid from Amazon, um, but you know, if I get the, uh, the use out of it it's worth the money. I hope that was helpful to you.